everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well i am here to share my japan tokyo trip which i took right after my seoul south korea trip if you're interested in the seoul trip which i was there for three days i will link that video below our first day in tokyo we went straight to chanel and unfortunately there was a ticketing system so we have to come back another day because they were done for the tickets of the day but we did go to an amazing omakase location which was near our hotel in ginza and yeah it was really hard to understand because they didn't speak a lot of english but the food was so good and we used our translator app and that was very helpful because we stayed in the Ginza area, we also did a little bit of shopping the first day we got there. And yeah, we did pick up a few things. Just FYI, for Japan, if you spend over a certain amount, I think, I believe it's 5,000 yen, and you have your passport with you, they don't charge you tax, which is about 8 to 10%. So we're seated at the Ginza Reserve, Starbucks Reserve, and I got the Sakura Blossom croissant. Nathan got the some other croissant. He did. I doesn't know what it is. And I got the Sakura Cold Foam Latte, and he got the Oliata um, Cold Brew. <laughs> The next day we decided to visit Sensoji Temple and see some of the cherry blossoms as well as the vendor stores. We got there very early in the morning and we did not see a lot of people, but on our way out there were a lot more people. So we're at the Azakusa Sensoji Temple. It's very big around. We also just saw a cherry blossom here. Not a full bloom yet, but there is bloom, so that's nice. Now we're going into the main temple. There's a lot of shops all over the place. Um, a lot of them aren't actually opened yet. These ones are. We grabbed a fresh bun around the corner as well as looked around some vendor stores. All right, Nathan, what do you got in your hand? Oh, this is a hot one. You want a hot one? Okay. Do I hit it first? And then I think now you press it. Oh, is it hot? Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Then we stumbled across this very cute place where we can make our own okonomiyaki. We went back to Chanel Ginza to get a ticket for the day so that we could go inside the store. There was about a two hour wait, so we went to other stores nearby, including the Hermes store. You can walk right into the Hermes store, no appointment needed. In fact, you can go up to the top floor where the leather goods are and you can check what availability they have, whether it's bags, wallets, anything that is leather goods. And if you like it and, and it's available, you can get an essay to help you with it immediately. So there is no games to buy a bag. Just got the Chanel ticket that it's ready that we're going to go in. Unfortunately, none of the essays at Chanel really spoke English, so I had to use my translator app, but it did make it hard to understand that some pieces from the 24S are not for sale even though it's in the store because they are not released yet. They're just floor models. So I only got to try it on. I did purchase something and I already filmed the unboxing video, so I'll link that in the description box below. I got the bag at the perfect time because after unboxing it, we ended up going to the Chanel restaurant. Um, it is actually called Beige and it's a Michelin star restaurant on top of the Chanel building. You need to make reservations, but it has an amazing view and the food was really good as well. And everyone there spoke English. I was surprised they had a lunch option as well. So if you don't want to do dinner, that is an option. This chocolate dessert was amazing. I also chose the tea pairing, which was really good. And it's the first time I tried it and I'm really glad I did. So it is our third day in Japan and last night we actually went to Lawson's to pick up this cafe latte. Um, it is non-sweet and we also picked up this roll cake, 
which looks pretty good. Um, it'll be our quick breakfast because it's it's 6 a.m. and we're gonna go to the fish market next. The fish market is huge, and by the time we arrived, most of the bidding for the tuna, which was this main area here, is already done. We did get to see some finishing work where people were moving the fish around, but we did get to watch some videos and some informational things, which is really cool. Um, Japan has a huge tuna market, so uh, this actually happens pretty much every day, very early in the morning, and we actually ended up staying around this area, uh, the fish market area, so that we could get fresh fish for um, a quick bite. It was a little bit rainy, but we still headed off to Shinjuku so that we could get some fresh ramen when they opened. The one that we wanted to go to had over two hour wait and already was sold out even before they opened. Okay, so we're in this little ramen shop. Uh, there's little spaces. You buy your ticket outside and then there's a little uh, ticket that you bring into the seat and then you give it to them. We got our ramen and rice super quick and it was so good. The main ingredient in the broth is the yakiyaga, which is the flying fish dried and grilled. There's also chicken and pork used in the soup as well. Very tasty. All right, so now I've finished all of my noodles. What you can do is take the rice, dump it into here, and then take the little rice crackers and also add it into here. Next, we stopped by the Don Quixote to pick up some Kit Kats and some souvenirs. This is a very popular store, and I was surprised to see that they also sold um, secondhand bags and watches. Afterwards, we stumbled across a animal cafe. This is actually very popular in Japan. You can find cafes filled with all kinds of animals. We ended up with a hedgehog. This one is so cute. We did not have a reservation ahead of time, so we only booked 30 minutes. Hi. Hi. We're at the Hedgehog Cafe, and we have this um, hedgehog. We have to only pick him up from the little belly, but look at this, this is his house. Sakure. Sakure. <laughs> Next, we stop by an ice cream shop for a quick break before heading off to some toy vending machines, which again is very popular in Japan. We didn't know what to pick. Okay, let's see which one I get. We are now in Shibuya, and before our dinner, we also stumbled across some secondhand stores where I actually got to try on some Hermes bags. We even ordered one and a half cutlets. This gyukatsu place is very popular, even though there are multiple locations, we still had to wait about 45 minutes. We started to wait around 4.30 and we got to eat right around dinner time. It was quite loud in the restaurant, so I will just try to tell you what happened here. Um, I am grilling both sides of the cutlet on this hot stone. They told me to cook it about 15 seconds on each side, although I did cook it a little bit more because I don't like it rare. Um, then you can eat it with the cabbage here, as well as the uh, miso soup, rice. There's also salad dressing for the cabbage if you choose. And the meal comes with unlimited tea. This was probably one of our favorite places in Japan that we had for a meal. Um, you do come out very smelling of food, so just be aware. We ended the night with this very yummy pancake custard whipped cream dessert. It was the perfect way to end the night. To continue to see our trip with cherry blossoms and more food, stay tuned for part two of our Japan Tokyo trip, which will consist of another three days of adventure.